We left part two of this video series in, we, in a state in which we get the results of OS query into a file. So we can see what's happening in the machine, particularly in this table of the user's table. Now we need to move that file into Curator. And to do that, there are multiple ways of doing it. We're going to use a very popular one, which is called syslogng. So it's, uh, we're going to start by installing syslogng. If you go Google syslogng, uh, Ubuntu, download Ubuntu, you get to this uh, page. And if you scroll down, or you select Debian, you, you get this four step that you need to do. Let's actually grab these commands and run them to get syslogng install. Let's paste the first command. That goes without a problem. Let's look at the second rather instruction. So it says we need to create a file and we need to put this entry in it and the file should be in etc apt sources list d directory and we are going to call it give it that name so we go into that directory to create that file it's new we click insert we paste that dev line that is in there escape colon write and quit let's do the third of the third instruction yeah all we need to do is run this command. Want to continue? Yes. And that is done. Now to make sure that everything got installed right actually there's no need to validate we, we see that the installation went well now we need to configure syslogng and to do that we're going to create a file and we're going to put this content and I will explain it in a minute so basically we are telling syslogng is that it's going to get that file that contains the results of Airs query that we saw before. It's going to put it in the, this is the curator IP address and the port 514. And this is the instruction say as a log, put the source from the source and put it in the destination. Now, one thing that you need to be careful is make sure that you don't put spaces or tabs or anything that, that, on, on these lines because that may uh, give you some headaches when while installing this. So colon wq. Now to take the configuration, actually to validate that it, it installed well, we need to restart restart syslogng, and it didn't give me any error, so that's good. If you would like to troubleshoot an installation of this, Mutas provide me provided me this command. And this validates that it's uh, installed. Okay. Now, what syslogng is going to do in the background is it's going to make sure that if something changes on that log file, it's going to send the content of it to Curator. And OS query before that is going to make sure that if something changes on the user table, because somebody adds a user or whatever, then it's going to signal that there is a change. Then syslogng will detect that there was a change and send the content of the file to Curator. Now, I don't remember if I, in the previous video I put this or not, so it's better to do it again. When we, when we run, we run the OS query interactively to generate the changes, but if we run it on the demo version of OS query, it's going to always be looking 
for the configuration that we put in there that looks into the users table and look for changes. So let's actually run it. Okay. So we're going to let this run in the background. We're going to get another terminal. Now let's see if we get all these right. So we're going to add a user manually again by passing, trying to subvert the security of the standard logs. So we are going to go to etc password d we are going to do shift g to go to the end we're going to do insert and we're going to add another user in here so let's do copy let's move all the way here let's paste and we're gonna call this uh, Jose right escape oh actually let me repeat the I didn't do sudo to get super users to do this operation so let me pause the video and, and redo all these steps to keep the video shorter Okay, this, this time with super user, we save the file. And after 10 seconds, OS query should pick up that difference. And then syslog ng should send that to curator. So curator will have no way of parsing that. Notice that there is a let's change here, found result for query user. So Curator will see that it will not be able to pass yet the results of it, but we're going step by step building this on, on this video series. So here in Curator we see that, notice that we have payload contains, query name user, that's a content of the actual logs. And let's see, I mean, it, it cannot parse it obviously. We will fix that in the next video. and we see <laughs> action added on user Jose. So let's recap. So first we explain the need for OS query that you can subvert the security of standard logs. Then we show how OS query finds this difference on tables and the different files on, on, on Linux, Windows, and uh, Mac OS systems. Then syslogng took the variation of that file and, and send it to Curator. The ne in the next step, we're going to show how we install the parser for OS Query so Curator can start making sense out of these uh, events.